as of late, now that we're starting to see Tweak put out consistent placings on the board here, and that becomes a question of how much longer is it going to take for other top players to consistently put out, you know, scores on the board. You look at Esam, he managed to actually con consistent in the worldwide rankings in terms of Wi-Fi, number 14th on PGR, number 14th in the Wi-Fi world rankings, and then, of course, now that Tweak is putting out good numbers here, MK Leo starting to slowly, you know, we did take a loss to T3 in one of the tournaments earlier, but MKLeo starting to put out massive work. Sam Sora, I mean, we did give him a big clap out. He actually managed to break into top 24 of a 600-man online tournament. Well, he's, like, gotten top 8 and, like, 4th and stuff recently. He, so. like, he's been doing good, but I always just see the memes of him saying that he's going to enter and get 33rd. So whenever he gets past 33rd, I got to give it up to Sam Sora. Big ups. Congrats. You uh, you beat the status quo of 33. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I'm just thinking about MK Lair was like, I honestly feel that he could be winning these tournaments with Joker if he just cared to play Joker online. Because I honestly don't even think Joker is that bad online. Arson is still in insane. Can I maybe, get some maybe your, from MK Leo? Maybe your combos hype? are on his team, but I would, so good. I'm going to default a little bit in terms of hype. Can I get some hype from MK? I would love to see him go cloud a little bit more um, in terms of Wi-Fi. I, I don't care. I mean, MK Leo's character pool is limitless. We, we saw him, you know, kind of bring forth the Ike meta when the game launched. We saw him definitely show up a little bit with Violet right before we enter quarantine and then we know that he's got a really really uh great Ready? joker but enough about him killing hopefully we get to see him here at msm online he did talk about it on his twitter so maybe we'll yeah, see him someone scared week. him away strides someone did someone, did. someone did. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't want to be playing leo's pool <laughs> <laughs> i already but, know someone would see me to play leo You're yeah right. i would but let's get on with it here t3 dom versus chunky kong I yeah. love the way that rolls off the tongue here. We'll see what the stage choice is momentarily. Of course, it is going to be a smaller stage here. That is going to allow Richter to kind of keep Chucky Kong... Oh, Chucky Kong. <laughs> Chucky Kong a little bit more close quarters here, but also Chucky Kong vice versa. Let's get into a 57% off the pack, too. If there's anyone that's going to win this matchup, it's Chucky Kong. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I mean... I, I, see what you're, I see what you mean, Strides. Yeah. Catching the recovery with the up E, then immediately throwing out the down air in case uh, there was a resource saved from Dom, but unfortunately the resource wasn't enough. Directional air dodge did not make it back to stage. Dom uh, playing possibly a little bit safer towards these edges. He's gonna go on the other side. You know, Dom was like uh, faster. He could have best smashed him still. And he had all of his ability. His best smash hits the ball the ledge. I think it's so silly that DK can do that. Yeah! <laughs> this is a silly character, what can I say? Man? Like, there's nothing serious about DK whatsoever. His character is clown shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what makes him, like, so funny. Now, well, what right. we have in here, this kind of goes to show what the matchup can definitely be like. I mean, Chucky Kong took an early lead here, and then T3 had to bring it into 90%. Careful on the cross up if he sees it. Good reaction right up the cross. He knows where he put his resources. I mean, this is going to sound silly, but Chucky Kong probably needs to take about 70 or 80 before he actually is allowed to play the game. <gasps> That's okay. I actually know about this. Uh, that cargo throw, that's inescapable for Terry. And if Terry, I'm sorry, for Belmonts. And if Belmonts do jump, that can be red in the board, and it'll lose the stock. Right so that's actually a heartbreaker. That's a consistent thing that DK can do to the Belmonts at certain amount, like pretty much now, if you want to. That's cheese. Yeah. That is some real Gouda right there. Okay, now we're going to see the Kong Copter. He actually just immediately grabbed the ledge. I think he was able to do it for the Kong. He's looking for the landing, nice. Oh, and I think the jump's gone, but Dom uh, committing to the down air. Oh, oh, trying to get back oh. to the stage as soon as possible. I'm looking for another up B from Chunky Kong. If I'm gonna be real, he's gonna rub in his face, throw another up B, copter him all the way to the ledge, and then kill him. I think we'll kill him at this point. 
Nice, good angle forward air here. This gives Tom time to break in from the ledge here. A little bit of an edge guard situation though by Chunky Slip. Cracks up air. Uh, you watch the landing here. This could be the stock. It's Chunky responds from behind the back air. Okay, here it comes. Run up up here. Oh, running with a solid to the cross, but there's no right Yep. Man, it's that gorilla's feet, man. Just the toe is in the hole. Yeah, great, great, uh, Edge guarding, good presence in neutral, a lot of pressure there from Chucky Kong. He's like playing like Dom didn't have projectile runs. I think that's kind of one of the things that make Chucky Kong very scary as a as a player. He's hyper aggressive. He no regards to what the matchup is like. He just goes in because he knows I'm big body. I I can live up to 197 percent as we saw within the first stock that T3 took. And I can definitely dish out damage within three hits. Uh, of course, I do know that TC does have a plethora of characters. If he does feel that Richter is not, per se, the best choice in this matchup, he can switch. I don't know if he's made that evaluation here, but he likes to stay the Richter. Of course, Chucky Kong. I've never seen him play any other character. Let's go into the next game here. Chucky Kong with the first point on the board. I think for T3 Chucky here... Chucky Kong also gonna... plays Wario. Oh, Wario? Yeah. Okay. I don't think he's going to do that. In this matchup. I always feel like every I don't big think he body needs main, to. Yeah, I feel like every big body main like uses Wario or some other kind of character like Wario. Three, but two, let's get into game one, the game two here. Of course, this is T3's last uh, that's a semi, so I think it's best of five here, so he's still got two more. Should be. And uh, this is a stage that he's been counterpicking pretty often, so not surprise. Okay. Drag down into the upbeat, pretty good damage here. I like how the cross like sends them towards Richter, so if he's like ready to follow up, he can just get so many things like the up smash or an up there. Okay, again, just hitting with these up these, catching Chunky Kong with these unsafe approaches here. Oh man, trapped the ledge a little bit, gotta deal with all these projectiles. Not able to catch the jump surprisingly. I thought that would be like an easy aerial for uh, Dom. Yeah, but Dom recognizing the cross up, gonna get the up tilt. And now here we go. Here are the traps. Yeah, of course. You're going, you let go of the ledge, you're gonna get hit. The angle down for air just to catch him from uh, having the ledge and its ability. Again, really. Oh, the cross actually might have helped him a little. Yeah, it did. Chun Kong dropped off of the ledge a little bit too early. He had a free back there. Okay, did I watch the cross coming back? Nope, it goes high, but there's the holy water. Down air, neutral air, so much for sitting here. Chummy Kong just trying to find a way to land on the ground to save you, but man, every time he's trying to think he's safe, there's a projectile in his face. Okay. They were there, though. He almost got hit with two axes in a row. Like, axe to axe. That would. No way you survived that for sure. But oh another God. axe connects, and Chunky Kong having a lot of difficulty laying on the ground. 155 is the number that he finally touches the ground with. He actually took. Close to 100% before he touched the ground. Or more. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, that's the life of being a DK player, but especially in this matchup. Yeah, really I mean, rough. even think about game one. Chunky Kong was, when he was at low percent, he was taking about 70%, and then he got to play the game. <laughs> so I would I would kind of expect that to extend to all portions of uh, mid, late, and early. It grabs him out of the up. So he brave. To, yeah, just to continue the pressure here at the ledge. Chunky Kong, he just wants to stock at this point. Oh my goodness. Oh my Three stock. Goodness. Three stock. He let he did not let him play the game. No. Forget taking 70 and playing the game. He took three stocks. And maybe he gets to play next game. Jeez. That was brutal. Like in that for that to be the message that you send after using game one. I mean that that really just sends a message to Chunky Kong like, hey, you need to give me some cheese. You need to give me you need to kill me early, because if you allow me to stay on stage, this is what's going to happen. Honestly, yeah. But I think Dom also recognizes the threat of the cargo throw and how early he can die, so he's literally turning up his projectile use by like a thousand. Oh, like, definitely. I, I'm, I'm like, even after he got cargo throwed at like super early percent, and just died. 
look at the way he stands on stage. He's he's keeping his distance from the ledge, not so he can set up his traps, but just so he can avoid that scenario. He's Dom is perfectly okay with being back and throwing holy water a little bit further away. It's going to catch neutral, get up. It may not be the full like trap that he normally wants to set up, but he has axe for that. Like he is adapting to the, to the scenario that Chunky Kong's putting out, and still avoiding that neutral grab to death. Yeah, going to be pretty rough for Chunky, but uh, this is a good start. Oh, the cross again, giving him uh, down a little bit of opportunity. Ooh, saved his jump, and he got sent far out. Nice. Yep. Got to go on stage. Nice. Got to give him the cheese. Very good stuff there from Chunky Kong. And this is exactly what you want. Like, the rough thing though is that he actually can't really afford to hang back and let, you know, like, let Dom come to him, you know, even though he has a lead. I, feel like, I still feel like he has to go on the aggressive here. Nice. That's another landing for there. Oh my goodness, going for it all with the DK punch. Nice. And he's watching out for the cross as well. Oh, no prayer dodge with no jump. He must have thought that he was going to land on ledge just because he was so close to it and he wanted to roll on the ledge. Yeah, it's really rough. You don't want to be giving uh, Richter of all characters any free stocks when you're DK, man. Oh my god, he exploded, dude. Even the slice. He got hit at 69. Yeah, that move is insane to get the tip for you. Especially with the slight charge. And Dami's taking it all the way to the bank. Already 52%. Chuck Kong just trying to get off the ledge. He's trying to get back in this game. But he's going to take so much damage. Nice. His uppies are even getting called out as well. Yeah, he's getting hit out of his uppies. He's getting grabbed out of his uppies. Like, that move is being nullified just not working. Okay, gets grabbed. A little bit of a mix-up. <laughs> you see how he like, walked away from the fire <laughs> so he wouldn't get interrupted? <laughs> That's actually really funny. Okay, double dash Double attack. dash attack? Oh, so close. He went for it. He tried. If it hit, he was dead, so I don't blame him. Okay. Watch out for all this pressure. There's so many projectiles everywhere. DK's recovery is so exploitable to get hit by all this. And I don't think Chucky Kong has a jump through that, that entire oh. uh, situation. Okay, he has the DK punch, I think. Oh! Hold up! Opportunity! Oh, he wasted it, but he still came out the ledge. Oh, free grab it? Oh! oh for the down tilt. Okay. Again, find himself in the worst position at the ledge versus Richter. Oh, the safe dash attack. Might have been best to just go for a grab there. Yeah, one oh, there's the F tilt. F -tilt. Yeah. So I'm seeing the tiny opening that Chen Gun is in there. He's swinging out that super safe F tilt. It's rough. Very, very rough. And Dom um, able to overcome this. <laughs> This wall of shenanigans that is Kung Chunky Kong. I'm yeah. telling you, man, I have been in those situations up against j -Max. I'm up a stock, I'm up a lead. He hits me once and all of a sudden he's back and that just does not feel fair. I mean, look at Chunky Kong's aggression. He knows, I get this dash attack, I follow up into another, I push Bellman off the stage. He's panicking. Because he has to worry about getting edge guard. He has to worry about getting dunked on. He has to worry about you even saw Chunky Kong wasn't hesitant to throw out the Dong Punch because if he had held shield or if shield was pressure enough, it would have broke, and I definitely would have stole everything T3 had worked up for. I mean, you have to make big plays with DK when you're behind. I, and pretty much all the time, honestly. Yeah, I was gonna say you have to make big plays. Yeah, with DK all and you can the afford time. to. You can afford to. You're you're a big body. You're one of the heaviest characters in the game. You can but live up to two hundred percent. Think about what he has to deal with against Dom. There's always projectiles. There's literally always a projectile that he has to think about. You have to think about the whip hitbox, like being 
almost like a sword. And at the same time, if I hold shield, Dom's been very proficient at reading Chunky Kong and going for the grabs whenever there was a windup or a shield. So it, in Chunky Kong's world, there is no safe moment. Yes, yeah, it's, it's hard, but it's just even more so than normal. He has to heavily capitalize off the hits he is able to get on a Dom. So we're going to see the Battlefield pick for the first time. Pretty interesting here. I think the platforms can help a little bit just to make it a little bit harder for Don to trap him with these projectiles. And uh, yeah, I hope his landing options as well. Okay. He's getting some good down tilts, but uh, surprisingly not going for the grab. Like, I thought he was just grabbing and get the card over with any opportunity he can find. Oh my god, oh, okay. He says air dodge from fire to fire. Yeah, honestly, that should have been a free force smash from Dom. But there's the deep edge guard, nice episode to hit him to that really poor spot off stage and finish it off at the back there. Yeah, Chun Kong definitely knows uh, how to exploit Richard's recovery when he has an opportunity. Okay. Nice, sneaking in that dash attack. Gonna hang back just a little bit, but does get sniped by the down tilt. This is where you never want to be. <laughs> yeah, but he's opting for a down tilt at the ledge, Dom giving up the stage control, allowing Chunky Kong to roll on. But again, just another forward air, and here we go. The same scenario. Ooh. Okay, we're barely living, but he's deep off stage. Okay, oh, rolled right into that just because he's wanted to get past the axe, but that's just the struggle of fighting this character at the ledge. We just throw so many things at you to cover options. Especially when you're a big character like DK. Again, just setting up the ledge traps over and over. Chun Kong just playing a little bit more patiently with the options he chooses to get off the ledge with, just so Don can't punch them as easy. Ooh, and that green down air gets exploded by that force smash. Only 57%. Probably the best lead chunk he's had so far. Let's see what he can do to hold on to it. That down air is like finally coming in and biting Dom in the butt. We see him use it so often to either like mix up his opponent uh, in terms of where he's going to land or even stall out in the air. But at this point, it landed and it did not work out in his favor. But Dom, okay, get the footstool. Trying to mix up his opponent. Oh, there's the angled forward air. Only taking 25%. Dom is already right back in this game. It doesn't take much for him to, you know, even up this percent deficit whatsoever. As long as he can just keep Chun Kong consistently in the corner, as you can see, he's going to take all this percent. All right. Trying to trap this landing, but down again, he's not really doing the autopilot down there as much as he was before, making it a little bit harder. Okay. Nice. You see that dash check once again. Oh! Oh, B reverse, but the Holy Cross was in play, so Chun Kong couldn't follow up. Man, that was actually so rough. That could have been huge for him. Opportunity though. Gonna get some time to charge up the punch. The axe covering a lot of space in the air and across stage. There we go. And there's the ball projectile sliding F tilt. Getting that extension and wow. Ledge invincibility had run out. Yeah, I hate to see it happen. That angle that you can hit that though is so strange. It's like, it's DK's, yeah, it's it's that hurt box that DK has, but also it's the fact that, like, I think Chunky might have